The Wolf's Colourful Coat by Avril MacDonald Because kindness and love can reveal greatness. Deep in the forest the fairies were told that winter was coming and bringing the cold. The streams would freeze over, wild winds would blow and the ground would be covered in white fluffy snow. They whispered the news to wise owl who then flew to tell the whole forest so everyone knew. Katrine wasn't pleased, she just liked the hot sun. She didn't think winter was very much fun. With wet soggy socks and big heavy clothes, cold hands and cold feet and a red Rudolph nose. But Wolfgang longed for the cold and the wet. He had a new coat that he hadn't worn yet. This colourful coat was bright orange and blue. With pink stripes and dots, he had matching boots too. His grandma had made it with love and great care. It just hadn't been cold enough for him to wear. But now with cold winds and fresh snow on the way, he put on his coat and he skipped off to play. As he happily whistled his favourite song, a dog, two raccoons and a rat came along. Something about them made Wolfgang feel bad. The raccoon seemed okay, but the dog looked quite mad. And the rat, well, he simply looked rather mean, but his nose was quite cute, like a pink jelly bean. The dog growled at Wolfgang. You look like a clown. That's a girl's coat you're wearing. He pushed Wolfgang down. And the rat threw a snowball that hit him in the eye. The raccoons laughed out loud as he tried not to cry. After they'd gone, brushing snow off his face, he crept back to the treehouse, his favourite place. And he didn't come out, he just stayed safe inside. The treehouse was always a good place to hide. Wolfgang was much too afraid to go out, just in case the mad dog and the rat were about. But the treehouse got boring, and after a while, Spider crept down. She missed Wolfgang's smile. Oh, Wolfgang, said Spider, don't hide on your own. I know what they said made you feel you're alone. But your coat is not why they were being unkind. They would have upset anyone they could find. Some of us who have been hurt by someone might think that to hurt is the way things are done. And some are unkind and make others feel bad when they simply don't know what it's like to feel sad. What they need is more love, so the best thing to do is be kind, brave and strong. Most of all, just be you. Tell someone you trust that you're feeling this way, like Wise Owl who's clever and knows what to say. Your friends are down there, you've been missed, can't you tell? Look, they're all wearing colourful coats as well. Wolfgang looked down from the window to see his friends making snow angels under the tree. He told Wise Owl that he still felt quite scared, though not so much now that his problem was shared. I'll make sure you're safe, said Wise Owl. Go and play. If those creatures come back, I'll just send them away. So he put on his coat and he ran to the door. Wolfgang was not going to hide any more. Days and weeks passed. They had wonderful fun, building grand snowmen in crisp winter sun. Then one day they happened to play hide and seek, which whatever the weather, they played twice a week. As Wolfgang was hiding, he heard a strange sound, ice cracking and splashing and crashing around. He followed the noise down through the deep wood. Then he saw what had happened. It didn't look good. A poor dog had fallen through ice in the stream. Someone please help me, he heard the dog scream. Without thinking, he picked up a great big long stick. I'll help you, cried Wolfgang. Grab onto this quick. And he tugged and he pulled, using all his might. Then he saw the dog's face and he got a big fright. For the dog in the stream was the very same one who had hurt Wolfgang's feelings and stolen his fun. Now the one that he feared was the one he must save. He felt scared but would do it. 
that's called being brave. He pulled the dog out. They both fell on the ground. The dog's teeth started making a chattering sound. His body was shaking. His face had turned blue. He was frozen inside. Wolfgang knew what to do. He took off his coat as fast as he could, wrapped the coat round the dog and pulled up the hood. Then wonderful magic began to take place. All the colour came back to the frozen dog's face. The dog had stopped shaking. His fur was now dry. Then to Wolfgang's surprise, he started to cry. He said, No one's ever been this nice to me. Why do you care? You're as kind as can be. And deep in his eyes, Wolfgang saw it was true. When the dog said, I'm sorry, I know I hurt you. Wolfgang was no longer feeling afraid. He felt happy instead with the friend that he made. The warmth from the love in their hearts made them glow. Something magic had happened that day in the snow. A mean dog became kind and a wolf understood. If you're brave and you care, you might find something good.